my first box says purses. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, what is that? Ooh, ooh, same with this one. This box right here is gonna be interesting to go through. United States collector's pins. Ooh, what is that? 24 karat gold? Oh, what is this? What is that? Let's go through this right here. Football collections, I like the way that sounds. Oh, hoo -hoo, what is this right here? For this moment, that we've all been waiting for our whole lives. He saw a Raiders emblem on a chair. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the greatest show on earth, Unboxing with the Storage Auction Pirate. Today we have a special edition of Unboxing with the Storage Auction Pirate, because if you will have to go to see the other half of this, but I had a little contest. If you know, I've been unboxing all the pods, the seven, the three pods I bought for almost three grand, and all the boxes were very well labeled, so I organized them in certain fashions, and then all of a sudden, my good buddy, Treasure Hunting with Jeebus, came to town. So, I decided it would be cool. So, we each had, there was six boxes I had set aside for one video. They were going to be um, what I thought would be one great video because there was two boxes marked football memorabilia. There was two boxes marked coin collection. And there was two boxes marked purses. So, I let him choose one of each to see if he could choose better boxes with more value in them than the ones that I would unbox. And so, I have one of each of those boxes. Now I'm gonna go unbox them right now and we're gonna take a look and see if I was able to come up with better boxes or if he chose the winners. Before we get started, don't forget to hit the like button. Like the heck out of this video and don't forget to share it. I don't care what you gotta do to share it. Next time you're out walking your dog or running down the road with your kids and you see somebody on the side of the street, stop them and just like walk up to them and say, excuse me, mister, I wanna tell you something really important. You need to watch the storage auction pirate because he has the most amazing finds in his videos and you must watch. And if you could say something cute like storage auction pirate, I love how you have awful hair today and you need to put more pink in it. Something cute like that. Anyway, on with the show. My first box says purses, bags, Christian Dior's. So we are gonna right now start unboxing this box. The first purse out this box, a Mark Jacobs. Look at that, let's come over here. Look at that Mark Jacobs purse right there. Very, <coughs> that is a decent brand, not super high end, but it is something worthy of selling on eBay. Then right here, right off the bat, we got a brand new Dooney and Burke. Look at that, brand new Dooney and Burke. Who don't like a brand new Dooney and Burke? Now, next purse we have here. This is already, I'm really liking this box. What just fell out? Great, it fell apart. We have an Enzo. Shout out to Enzo. They make all right purses. Got a price tag in here, but it's broken. So I'm not impressed with the brand new purse is broken. I don't care how cool you are, Enzo. Shouldn't be giving your customers like that. Then we have an Elite Luca. I don't know what an Elite Luca is. It kind of reminds me of a, a Bottega Veneta. See this right here? See that pattern that is very common with the Bottega Veneta, but brand new with the tags, it is $98. Oops, I'm gonna get yelled at for throwing that purse now. Right now in the comments, somebody's like, Pirate, you suck at handling purses. Who? look at this, I like this. Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren is getting really popular these days. $75, brand new with the tags. It's a little yellow purse. It's kind of like a, I'm gonna run to the, the pool real quick and I'm gonna throw some stuff in here type purse. Who? what is this? Why are my purses breaking? This is the second, oh. Enzo, it's you Enzo. Now we got a Dooney and Burke. Dooney and Burke is very fashionable and very popular these days. This one, brand new, is this got a receipt in here? Let's see, what did they buy? Not this purse. This is a very fashionable purse, Dooney and Burke. Women love Dooney and Burke, it's very popular right now. Or it's been popular, I should say. Been popular forever since purses came out. What is this little satchel? Look at this. That's a very popular color right now. This little autumn looking ish, almost orange, but too much brown. 
It is a K Y a K V O L L. That's kind of cute. You just wanna you just wanna walk around like this, and you wanna hold your purse, or you're like, oh, I'm in a hurry. I'm gonna carry it on my shoulder. Digging that, digging that one. Ooh, what do we got here? What do we got here in this bag? This is a Cavol. I don't probably didn't pronounce that right, but it is a purse. Nope. Here we go. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That's not a Cavol. This right here is a quality purse. You look at this one. This is a. Hold on. Let me show you. What did I just say? What was that name I was just saying? Bottega Veneta. Very popular brand. Very popular quality look at that this one's probably real made in italy it's got a tag right there oh my glasses fell i like this one i used to sell uh one time i bought a unit full of purses and the lady had a high collection of bottega venez i was getting two three four hundred bucks a piece on ebay for those bottega venez i don't know the price of this one but if you happen to know if you could kindly comment below in the comments for me ooh, oh i got excited thought that was Thought that was Lois Vuitton, Louis Vuitton, Louis. I'm getting yelled at a lot in the comments for my ability to say Louis Vuitton. Ooh, this one's heavy. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a bag full of money in there. This is one of those purses where she kept her paper in it because she wanted it to stay. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a good maker name there. Let's see what we got in here. Let's see, what do we have? Cole Han. Cole Han. Shout out to you, Cole Han. You're trying to make it come up real, really, really highly in this world here. That's a decent purse. The leather feels good. Kind of, kind of soft. Kind of, yeah. Carrying on with our purses here. Ooh, I like the way this one looks. What does this one say? It says all sorts of letters. Can't read them. My vision's going bad. Very quality leather here though. I like this one with the way the leather is. I'm not seeing an actual maker in here though. If you see right here, oh, here we go. Mark Jacobs. And that's what it says. It's got the letters that spell Mark Jacobs all over. This is a quality Mark Jacobs here. The leather is really soft, really durable. I think that's a good word to use as a way to describe that one. Not bad. This unit has been putting out so many purses, it's ridiculous. I don't even know what to do with all of them. It's funny. Ooh. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, what is that? That is a Chanel. I'm excited about this, the fact that it's a Chanel, and we have to leave this to the very end. We're going to leave a little bit of excitement on the table. I want to open that one up at the end. Ooh. Ooh. Same with this one. Same with that one. Christian Dior is really hot right now in the streets. Really been, uh, I've, I've been doing really well the few times I've found. We're gonna not take our time and untie that plastic knot in that bag. But vintage Christian Dior has been really hot lately. I've been really good with it. Coach, look at that, a brand new coach. That's probably in the store. You're looking at two to 300 for this purse. They took the tags off probably because it was a gift. And they were like scared that their person was going to return it or something. So like, I'm going to get you a gift, but I'm not going to give you the receipt. I found a lot of coach in these units. This box right here is going to be interesting to go through. Why did I set this one aside? Like I said, we each had boxes of the similar proportions. There were two boxes marked coin collections. It's taken everything I've had to not open these for a week. But shout out to my boy Locker Nuts. Y'all know him. Rising star on YouTube. That man does stuff like hold safes in his house for like two, three, four weeks teaching me patience. So instead of just rushing through the boxes and making these videos super fast so that we don't get the full effect on what comes in a pirate storage auction unit, I've been taking my time. Because I wanna make better videos. Candles. Okay, so so far I'm not seeing anything to do with the coin collection. So this is kind of, ooh, what's this? Absolutely nothing. A CG. This unit is brought to you by the letter C and the letter G. That is for cool and great. Come on, coins. Where are you at, coins? A candle. Wow. Oh, it's also brought to you by the letter G. Oh yeah, we said that already. This is just ridiculous. 
I'm seeing nothing to do with coins so far. Looking like personal, yep. Hashtag don't take it personal. Hash Ooh, I found a shark. Look at that. That's pretty cool. All right, we're carrying on here. Ooh, what is in, I see something I really want to see in. This right here, that's all right, that's cool. But, but, what is this? United States collector's pins. We will leave that out to the end. I'm interested now. It looks like we have another one in here. It looks like we have a, a phone. A phone. Really? What? What is this? Hold on. Let me use my old phone and we're going to dial. What are we going to do? Oh, 911. What, what is that? What is that, Lassie? Timmy's trapped in a well? Carrying on. Carrying on. Ooh, what is that? 24 karat gold coins? We will set that aside to open up after we get through everything in this box. Here we go. We're getting something cool here. Open immediately. We got a Claude Monet. Ladies and gentlemen, we found a Claude Monet. And a quarter. Oh, look at this. We got laundry money. Laundry money right there. Shout out to Laundry Money. If any of you guys go to the laundry mat to do your laundry, you know what I am talking about. Candle. Oh, boy. Nope. We got lanterns. That is almost cool. We can get half the stuff out of here. Candles. Nice. Look at that. It's beeswax. Many are beeswax. That's what I found in these boxes. I uh, get it because it's my beeswax. Oh, I lost my marble. I think we all already knew that, though. Ooh, it is a cone. That's a good ice cream cup. All right, let's get this other box out of here. Look at this. Look at this. It is another box marked the Super Bowl pin. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God, the Super Bowl pins. That means there's going to be a lot of Niners pins in there. Probably not going to be a lot of other teams like the Houston Oilers or something like that. But there's probably going to be a lot of 49ers in there because we all know the Niners have gone to a lot of Super Bowls. I wonder if the, what it said, Votifs, is that what it said? That that meant all these little weird things. Come on, be like leak. Be like leak. Heavy glass. Don't be dollar store. Moo. 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 Oh, 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 what is this? What is that? <laughs> Let's put the cow back. I know what everybody's thinking, right? Everybody's like, pirate, open this. Open it. I can't. I have to get through to everything else. And we will open that towards the end of the video. Because, you know, it's fun to build excitement. I like excitement. Okay, that was all right. We got all that stuff right there to look through. But before we do, let's go through this right here. Football collections. I like the way that sounds. And, ooh, I can tell you, I, I know two people are going to be very interested in this box. If you know my friends, what the hails, you all know that George loves swords. Oh, look at that. Ice cream and cereal. It's flavored lip balm. I could tell you right now who's going to like that. That is a little girl that hangs out with Michaela Jordan. Her name is... Jasmine, she is addicted to lip balm. Holographic gold-plated quarters. What are these about? Interesting. Anybody know the value on what that would be? I've been told that these, I, from what I understand, these state quarters are not very expensive. But when you're talking holographic and gold, ooh, what is in there? Ooh, eat your heart out, Jeebus. You thought you had the best find. 
I think I might. What is this? Oh my, look at that. That is a stabbing knife right there. One knife. George, if you're interested, these knives will be for sale. You can add them to your collection. Ooh, look at this one, a dragon wing. Holy heck, I like this because I'm a dragon. I'm a sleeping dragon, not no more. They woke the sleeping dragon. Look at that. This is turning out to be fun. I like this box already. I'm interested to get to that little gem hiding down there below. Nope, that's boring. Ooh. They did drugs. They did drugs, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just kidding. This is not for drugs, I don't think. If I know better, because I am Native American, Navajo Indian, this is a peace pipe. These are made of jade. Often, I think these might be glass, but I couldn't tell you. I'm not an expert. They are cold, as not as cold as they should be. That's one of the way to tell if something's jade. But if you see right here, there's a helmet. And I think that helmet belongs to the second greatest quarterback of all time. Reason being is Jeebus. His box had the greatest quarterback of all time on the helmet that he found. This looks like a, uh, a knife holder for the dragon sword. Ooh, I'm seeing some cool things coming up here. We're gonna work our way around this. We're gonna work our way around. We gotta get in here. Oh, I thought this was gonna be jewelry another way to rattle. That's pretty tight though. You know who likes to play the piano? Alex, storage stalker. Shout out to my homie. Ooh. We'll keep carrying on. Carrying on all this white paper. This reminds me of going through like a like a garbage can sometimes, like the way like a dumpster. You open up a dumpster. I was watching a cool dumpster diving video today by my two favorite ladies who do dumpster diving. They bring joy to me when they do them. And that's Sarah and Jackie of the Treasure Hustlers. Oof. Boring. A lantern. A lantern. Nice. Come on, be something good in here somewhere. What is this? The munchies? Don't know. Ooh, gold coin. Not the gold kind I want, though. Another one of those hooks. I'm getting hooked on storages. I love storages. Some more great storage videos on my friend's page, Storage Hunters Vegas. A lantern. I have seen the light. Another lantern. Another lantern. The world's smallest violin to play a sad, sad song. A mason jar. I love you. Oh! Sweet baby Jeebus! Joe Montana. You know who likes autographs? I'm gonna have to hit him up. I'm gonna have to hit him up for help on this because he is a could have kind of a kind of a little bit of an expert. But my homie Renee down at Bargain Hunters Thrifts. He would probably like that because that's the second greatest quarterback ever in the history of quarterbacking. Like I said, you want to see the greatest quarterback ever, you're going to have to go to my friends and great YouTuber, Treasure Hunting with Jeebus, where he has displayed, ooh, what is this right here? He has opened up the other three boxes, and he has them all on his channel. You will have to go there. The link will be in the description.
What an adventure this has been. What an adventure these boxes have been. Ooh, what do we got in here? Let's, let's see. Let's take these out because we don't want to show Billy. We don't want to show Billy. Wow. Look at that. This is nuts. Locker nuts, to be exact. Look at all these Danbury mint quarters right here. Look at those. There's dollars. There is what? <laughs> Every one of these are 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and $10. There's $110 just in the quarters there. Or well, these are dollars. Once again, these are dollars. Danbury mints. Those are nice. I'm excited about that. And they have this little cool little display case on top. Now, that's a coin collection. Now, for this moment, that we've all been waiting for our whole lives as this venture continues. What kind of venture is it? It's a Wade's venture. That's what that is. It's a Wade's venture. Ooh, we got everything out. Let's put this here. Hide it from everybody. Check out this not cool drawing. Double check the bottom here. There's a bug. Stop. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited about this. I'm, I'm really excited about this right here. I'm going to take this out. I have to take it out of the case because, um, well, that's what tires do. We want to hold our treasure. I want to show you this up close. This is neat. This is, wow. You see that right there? Second greatest quarterback of all time. Second. That's got to be worth a few bucks. That's a, a Rydell helmet. Size large. NFL. Is there any type of paperwork in here? No. No paperwork. Have to definitely hit up Renee and ask him about authenticating this. Because that man does a lot of authenticating. Wow, that's a gem right there. That is a gem. Now, not only do we have that autograph, but we also still, like I said, we have that one. Let's uh, put that aside here. Now, let's go with this. Let's go with this right here. United States Mint on 7 billion. And go. What are these? United States quarters proof sets. Those, please be silver. Please be silver. Can you please be silver? If, I, if you were silver, I would love you. No. But still, cool. We got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's like a ten set. Not bad. This coin collection is turning out to be better than I possibly thought it was going to be, but not as good as I want it to be. Now, this one here. The Super Bowl pin collection. Like I said, this should have several 49ers in it. It should. Mm. What do we have here? The Seahawks and Patriots. No, that's the Eagles. No good. Cowboys. Uh, we'll give that to Michaela. We got the Patriots. Shout out to the Patriots. There we go. Niners. That's the one Baby Jeebus likes. We could throw up on them. That's Sarah's favorite team. i kind of been talking a lot of football for everybody, so I kind of know who everybody likes. Um, sadly for Jeebus, I don't think the New York Giants... Oh, there you go, Jeebus. There's yours right here. I was going to say, I didn't think the Giants had been to a Super Bowl, buddy, but I guess they have, and I didn't know better. And this is not opening. Oh, here we go. Oh, I thought it was going to be magic cards. Dear Collector. All right, we got some paperwork. Not bad. That's got to be worth a few bucks. We'll have to look on eBay, see what that one's worth. Now... Danbury Mint. That's great eBay items. United States of America highlighted state quarters. Right there. Ooh, nice. We got all sorts of these quarters. We're going to have to look into them. They're all over the place. They're just flying out of boxes. I don't know what these are worth. I have no idea. But somebody out there probably does. And I'm hoping that that somebody is really going to help me figure that out. United States collector's pins. Paperwork, yeah. And go. Nice, who we got here? Utah, North Dakota, Florida. Interesting, they just went, must have bought places they went. 
This one's funny. Right here. In Delaware. Hi. We're in Delaware. We have a little contest right now. If anybody can guess what movie that that line was from, you will win a heart emoji in the comments. If you can guess who and what movie said that line. Now, here we are. For the moment that I've been waiting for, because I set these aside, and I wanted to know what, whether they were in there or not, because I thought they were going to be exciting, is what's inside of this bag here and what's inside of this bag here. Because if you know anything about purses, you would know that these things could be more money than all this stuff right here. And what do we have here? Yes, that is a Dior, and it has the key to my heart on it. This one looks legit. The feeling, oh yeah, look at that. Look at this one. Everybody just stop what you're doing and I want you to just feel this. Put your hand right there, just touch it. See how soft that is. It's just, wow. This one could be money. What do we got here? Oh. Yeah, hello. Oops, we're dropping it. So how much money could it be if we're dropping it? Christian Dior, Carte, the Authenticite. This is a good, I think this. I think we've got something here. We're gonna have to take this one and have a purse expert look at it. Okay, I'm delaying because we don't have a purse expert. We just have a lot of women friends who buy purses and they know them when they touch them. But they also don't always pay the best so we can't let them see our good ones. They might be listening so we gotta be quiet. I'm gonna have this one looked at though. If you have an idea of what this exact purse cost, let me know in the comments right below. I don't even, I'm, I'm so nervous because you know why? In the grand scheme of finding things, Chanel is one of the highest end brands you could possibly find in the world for anything. <laughs> is this real? That feels so dang good. Look at that. Oh, what do we got here? What is this? Expo for a copy of Privacy Policy Expo Hours Show, San Jose Convention Center, Canon Communications, American Express. I don't know what that is. It's not a receipt for this purse. But this bad boy right here. This looks and feels legit. Let's see if we can turn the light. I'm going to need some help, women. I'm going to need some help on this one. This, oh, this feels so legitly real. I'm not even lying when I say that this, I'm 100% who, I don't know much about this one. I really don't. I just know that Chanel is one of the greatest brands you can ever find in a purse world. It looks so, like feel that guys, feel how soft that is. Ooh, nice. What an adventure this was. This was definitely a crazy adventure. It was like a Wade's adventure. I don't know if I was saying that a minute ago, but the things I found in here are phenomenal. The things I found in here, these boxes, the autographs, the coins, the purses. Now you're gonna have to go to Treasure Hunting with Jeebus' channel and you're gonna have to check out whether or not he beat me. Now, what I have to do, now what I have to do is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever started doing on my YouTube channel, but it seems to be greatly enjoyed so now i have to make myself look like a blooming idiot and i gotta sit here and i gotta do ridiculous things that is i gotta sit here and i gotta take all sorts of ridiculous photos for a possible thumbnail and i gotta do ridiculous things like go like this and be like oops there we go now we're gonna be in the comments mike you just threw a christian dior purse on the ground that's the thumbnail me throwing a christian dior purse on the ground so let's do this again, Michael. Here we are. Let's see. How can we make this like this? And we're going to go like this. And we're going to put like this. And we're going to be like, and we're going to be like, like that. And then we're going to make funny faces like. I had to do this with the Jeebuses the other day. And it was the most ridiculous thing trying to get them to watch me make a thumbnail post. What do we got here? How about like this? How about we put the peace pipe there and we put the sword there next to our thing like that and we're gonna go like this and then we're gonna be like. I can't do this, ladies and gentlemen. 
I really can. If you like this part of this video, if you like the, you want to see me make these ridiculous videos at the end of my video every time, comment below, pirate, we love it, and keep doing it. But for now, 